Alrighty, I'm sure you have read somewhere online some sort of review on Canada's Wonderland's Halloween Haunt. And if you haven't, I have a review up on my channel, or you could go over to Nar City. There's reviews all over the place. Some of them negative, some of them good. Um, and obviously, I have my own personal opinion. Well, I, I'm going to hop right on into it. Is Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland in 2021 worth the visit? And the obvious answer is yes. Are you insane? We've been in lockdown for what? Over a year now. We have didn't get to really do much of anything back in 2020. And we are now allowed to go out and pretty much do whatever we please to some sort of extent. And Canada's Wonderland has been one of those places that I have found to be kind of like home this year. <laughs> um, aside from that, Canada's Wonderland's Halloween Haunt has so much to offer. And I'm not even just here spewing um, false narratives. This isn't a sponsored video. I'm literally going to go over why a visit to Canada's Wonderland's Halloween Haunt is 100% worth it. There are several reasons. One is the atmosphere. For those of you that love rides at Canada's Wonderland, you will love a visit to Halloween Haunt. The lines are a lot shorter than they were in summer. They're in fact a lot shorter than your typical Halloween Haunt lines back in 2019, 2018, 2017. For those of you that know Halloween Haunt, it can get really busy and really hectic. And it is not busy. It is not hectic. It is like a very mediocre, medium busy day. You can get on most rides within 30 minutes. In fact, if you're looking for a last ride on Leviathan, it's like a 10 minute wait. It's crazy. And that's regular queue either. No fast lane. It's definitely worth the visit lines alone. You'll get a lot more rides done in that five hours than you will during a day visit in the summer this season. Aside from that, night rides. You have to get some night rides at Howling Haunt. For those of you that don't know much about rides, Wonderland tends to switch over to these new nylon wheels as the weather gets colder, so rides like Leviathan actually run a little bit faster. So you get a much better experience on those roller coasters. May I personally suggest a ride on Mindbuster, Vortex, and Leviathan at night. So go to Howling Haunt and check out those three rides and you will love them. In fact, even Behemoth runs a lot faster. Be rides like be um sorry not be <laughs> rides like Yukon Striker and Leviathan actually even have wheel heaters and they are on later on in the evening during Halloween Haunt, which also helps speed up the ride. So again, you gotta check out these rides during Halloween Haunt. They definitely run faster, and that is no cap. Food. Wonderland has launched a fall food menu, and I kid you not, it is absolutely delicious. That is <laughs> For those of you that have eaten at Wonderland in the summer, you might be thinking you're crazy. No, it is actually really good. They have fall-themed food options during the day, during day operations, and they have Halloween haunt-themed food at night. In fact, you have to try the pumpkin spice funnel cake. It is really good. I also personally recommend the beef stew in a bread bowl during the daily operations and then any of the Halloween Haunt themed food. It's like their regular food, but they've upped it. They have these awesome charcoal flatbread pizzas in Marketplace that you have to check out. So that's already three options that I personally believe makes Halloween Haunt extremely worth it. And that's not all. There is a really cool Halloween themed store at the front entrance that you have to check out. They have Halloween themed squishmallows along with really cool handcrafted Halloween decorations that are not even that outrageously priced. In fact, you can buy Wonderland merch in there that is like $2. These mugs, $2. The Halloween Haunt sweaters, one of the sickest designs I've ever seen. But I'm not going to go too much into that because a lot of people don't really care that much about merch. The shows. There is so much live entertainment at Canada's Wonderland this season that you have to check out. And if the shows isn't your thing, they have this other cool game called Sink the Jerk that is absolutely hilarious and absolutely funny. As long as you have good sportsmanship and you're not going to sink the jerk by pressing the button and actually play the game, it is really funny to just sit there and watch him insult people. <laughs> all night long. I could literally watch that all night long. One of the shows that you absolutely have to check out is Vampire Disco at Canada's Wonderland. It's got amazing lights, amazing music, and great actors. It is absolutely a vibe if you go at the right time and the right group of people are walking by that path. It is absolutely amazing. You have to check it out. 
Other shows there at Canada's Wonderland are The Inferno. You have to check out The Inferno. It is so cool. I'm not even kidding you. It is absolutely insane. It is a returning show, but this year they have like this sword um, kind of aspect to the show that they didn't have previously that just looks so cool and just even feels really cool. So you have to check that out. Now, with government restrictions and the, how busy Canada's Wonderland is, unfortunately, yes, the haunted houses at Canada's Wonderland do not exist this year. It just wouldn't work, and you would be waiting two to three hours to get into these haunted houses with the restrictions. Thus, Canada's Wonderland has made it easier on you and moved the haunted houses out onto the midways. You can experience some things like the farmstead over by the Yukon Vertical Loop area where you walk through a kind of an outdoor themed haunted little farm themed adventure. I don't know what to call it, but it's really cool and it's so awesome because it also affects um, Yukon's Vertical Loop area. It's slightly fogged over so you get that awesome night ride with fog on Yukon Striker. So again, you got to check it out. Don't sleep on Canada's Wonderland with these government restrictions because they've definitely handled it really well. There's another really cool zombie military themed area over by Sledgehammer as well. The area is really well themed and it honestly fits in really well with Sledgehammer always being down. I'm kidding. But nonetheless, that is just a few of the haunted themed scare zones that Canada's Wonderland has. And aside from scare zones, the shows, the awesome food, the night rides, and short lines, those are six reasons as to why Canada's Wonderland's Halloween Haunt is extremely worth the visit. I highly suggest grabbing a group of friends and going to Canada's Wonderland and just completely vibing out. It is honestly a huge success in my opinion because with the government restrictions and everything it has been awesome i don't know if it's because i just missed it in 2020 but i absolutely love the fact that wonderland was able to pull off transitioning the park from summer operations to howling hunt in literally less than two weeks so kudos to them for providing awesome entertainment great food an awesome atmosphere at night and a huge thank you to everyone working at Halloween Haunt. It has been absolutely amazing to be back at Canada's Wonderland and experiencing some form of Halloween Haunt in 2021. So a huge thank you to Wonderland. A huge thank you to all the Halloween Haunt actors. And may I please just leave this video off with a quick little message to please respect Canada's Wonderland's property. Please respect the Halloween Haunt actors. Do not treat them with any disrespect. Do not disrespect Wonderland's property by vandalizing it, breaking it. It's honestly so pathetic when I see teenagers for literally a small, quick 30-second TikTok breaking or damaging property or harassing Halloween Haunt actors. These people are there for your entertainment, and they are literally working out in the cold all night until 2 a.m., so you could go and have an awesome experience. So please do not harass them. It is so disrespectful and it just is honestly so pathetic and low of anyone. If you're going to Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland just to uh, make someone's life miserable by damaging property or harassing workers. So please, please, please do not be one of those teenagers. Thanks so much for watching my video. Comment down below what you enjoyed most about Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland in 2021 down below. I definitely want to hear from all of you. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hopefully you have an amazing week and see you this weekend at Halloween Haunt. I'll be there this entire weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So feel free to say hi if you see me. Have a good one, guys. Bye.